Immediately after the DA announced no charges would be filed, Metro Police released their entire investigative file. Our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, has been digging through that evidence. And Phil, what are you finding? Well, Vicki, we've been taking a close look at video from a police interview with a local resident who witnessed the encounter. DA Glenn Funk says that woman's account was a key factor in his decision not to prosecute. Like, bang, bang, and there's like a little pause. Did you actually see the officer shoot him or did you just hear the gunshots? I just heard the gunshots. Now, Stephanie Fry lived in the neighborhood and she told Metro Police she had just come home from lunch when she saw Officer Josh Lippert chasing Jaquez Clemens. Video from the neighborhood shows the traffic stop and it shows Clemens running from the officer. Seconds later, the two were engaged in a scuffle. Fry told investigators that Lippert was trying to kick the gun away but that did not work. Well, they were scuffling just for like a brief, like five seconds probably. And he was, I guess he was trying to kick it or trying to do something, I don't know. But he didn't, he wasn't able to. The guy still got it and he put it back into his pocket and uh, he proceeded to keep running and the officer told him once again to stop, put your hands up, and he didn't, and I heard three shots. Now, police also released video of interviews with Officer Lippert himself. We're taking a look at that and a lot more, and we'll have more coming up tonight on News Channel 5 at 10.